What's going on, everybody? Hope you're all having a fantastic day today. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys have been watching my channel for a while now, you guys already know how I feel about the majority of x Define haters. Uh, the mass majority of them don't even have any legitimate reasons to be hateful towards this game. Now, of course, there are a lot of people out there who have good reasons, you know, reasons that they don't want to play the game, which is understandable. It might not be, you know, up to par when it comes to performance that they enjoy. Maybe they just don't care for the arcade experience. Maybe they don't like specialists. There's many reasons on why someone might have a bad opinion of the game. But people who are just saying, like, x Define is a garbage game, like, it's a fact, not an opinion, like, it's a fact, like, you are, like, you're an idiot, basically, if you want to enjoy x Define, it's a stupid game, you, you shouldn't waste time, so on and so forth. You guys know how I feel about these individuals, but FaZe Jev put his words together perfectly and just absolutely destroyed these x Define. I don't even want to say haters anymore, man. I'm just going to start having to label them x Define losers. But ladies and gentlemen, before we go ahead and dive deep, if you guys are interested in more content just like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell. I post daily here at 8 in the morning Eastern time. And of course, if you guys want to go ahead and check out my live streams, I don't stream on Sunday, but I will be back on Monday at 12 p.m. Eastern time over on Twitch. Of course, if you guys want to go ahead and tune in, I got a link to that channel down in the description of this video. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now with that being said, let's go ahead and dive into the footage of Face Jev and we'll discuss a little bit afterwards. If this game dies at some point in the future, like really, really, truly dies, like they shut down the servers or whatever it may be, this is going to be one of those games where I look back on it and just, I I'm sorry, I'm going to have to blame a lot of people's bad faith. It is a fun ass game. If you are an OG Call of Duty fan, you should love this game. Gunplay feels good. Movement feels good. Abilities, some people can feel some type of way about them, but they don't turn me on or off about the game. They're updating the game consistently. They're ethical in the way that they're doing everything, and they're not really being rewarded for it. It's, um... It's a shame. I'll be honest as well, getting back on this game, I was expecting to have a worse time. I had a way better time than I was expecting. But yeah, check out X Defiant. There's really no reason not to check out X Defiant other than, I don't know, being made fun of by your friends or something like that because they made you feel like it was lame or some shit. It's free to play. Nothing is coming out of your pocket. There's pretty much no reason to not play it unless you have something else to play. Ladies and gentlemen, this man is absolutely preaching right now. I feel horrible for the developers as well. Uh, for the first time, seriously, ever, we have a development team who acknowledges everything, talks to their community, interacts with their community. I actually just made a video about this a little while ago where people continuously still say till this very day that the devs don't do anything. <laughs> if you've been playing this game since day one and you followed every update, you know for a fact the devs have made massive changes almost throughout every single update and people downplay them Every single time, because once again, what's the popular thing to do when it comes to X Defiant? Hate on it. People have already come to a conclusion on how they feel about this game. And they, no matter what happens, no matter what is done, they will forever have the same mindset. And it's rough because... Just like Jeff said, if this game does ever fail sometime down the road, it's because people keep continuously putting this mindset, this toxic brain rot, out into the open. People who don't even touch the game, play the game, even share a legitimate opinion about the game. These guys will just hound down every comment you can find, every video you can find, to discourage anybody from trying out this experience for themselves to make up their own opinions. These people are the absolute worst. They really are. Because they are the type of people who don't give a crap about anything that you say, right? Like, these guys are probably people you will not want to befriend in real life. Or family members typically would ignore or say, oh, you know, here's so-and-so again coming on through. These guys are the type of people who, once again, they state their opinion, but they state it in a way that they refuse to allow anybody else to actually have fun with it. Like Jeff was saying, don't let your friends come to you, man, and tell you you're a dork for playing X Defined. Who cares? Give it a try for yourself. We're like in a day of age where people need others to, you know, give their input in order for them to make up their own mind instead of them actually going in and giving it a shot and seeing if they enjoy the overall experience. It's just simply ridiculous. But I also saw a Reddit post that really brings all of this together, in my personal opinion. It's a really good post. Let me read it off for you guys. This post right here was put out by Affectionate Car, saying, Hot take, but it don't feel like the game is dying. I mostly play Dom, TDM, Hotshot. Bit connection is great, and I get lobbies instantly. Is it a social media YouTuber thing to call this game dead? And it's not the, the post that I want to hyper-focus. It's the response here. This response is so damn good. 
This is by Wiffle X here. Beautiful, beautiful response. Again, it's a little lengthy, but it's definitely worth the read. Here's what I think. For background, I was a very casual gamer most of my adult life. I'm in my late 30s now. I'd play a big single player game here and there, beat it, then not touch my PS4 or 5 for months. Never really followed gaming news, social media, you know, etc. For some reason, I decided to try X Defiant, and I loved it! I sucked at first, of course, but got better, and now I'm actually pretty good, if I may say so myself. So I joined this Reddit, followed some YouTube channels, etc. I cannot stress enough how toxic the gaming community seems to someone new to it, like I am. I have a lot of hobbies and follow a lot of subreddits, and nothing comes close to the negativity I see on this and other gaming subs. It just feels like it's ingrained in the culture. People act incredibly entitled, nothing is good enough, etc, etc. People get flamed for sharing positive experiences. I'll go as far as to say, because this game isn't to their exact expectations, they will actively root for it to fail. It's gross! So I think some of these people made up their minds months ago that they were going to try and help it fail and will come on here and shit on it constantly no matter what improvements are made. They'll never be happy. I've played Modern Warfare 3 a bunch since I started playing X Defiant and there's plenty of weird shitty glitchy stuff that happens in that game too. Even if X Defiant fixed everything and got on par with the other FPS competitors out there, these people will never be satisfied. It seems like they'll only be happy if X Defiant shuts down. And the thing is, that'll only hurt themselves. More competition in the genre is objectively a good thing, even if they don't like the game itself. Oh my god, Wiffle, please, 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 just preach it so much louder. I hope this person watches my channel. I don't know if they do. They probably don't. But my god, I hope they do, because I, I really have to let them know that they are a legend. And it's the freaking truth. This is gaming. It's literally gaming. Practically every game out there that I can think of you get crapped on for enjoying it. And of course, there's gonna be people backing you up just like there's people on this channel. There's tons of people who watch you know, my content that enjoy X Define and back it up. But there's always going to be the people who despise the game and they don't care what happens to it, you know, to improve along the road. They will always actively root against it no matter what. And that is just the simple truth. And it goes across every single title I can think of. Halo, Battlefield, COD, you know, and some of these games, yeah, on the occurrence, they deserve it. But even in their most awesome titles, they still got the crap that they got. People who enjoyed those games got crap that they got. I guarantee if I didn't cover X Defiant, no matter what game I go to, no matter what game I go to, it could be Delta Force. I could literally stop X Defiant and post only Delta Force. I am 100%. I'm not 99. I'm not 98. There's no questions to be asked. I am 100. No, forget that. 1000% positive. There will be a ton of people coming to my channel on a daily basis saying that I'm dumb for liking Delta Force. It's a horrible game. It doesn't matter what game I go to. There's always going to be these losers who devote every waking minute of their life to crapping on the game. It's not even like me when it comes to like COD, for example, when they put out a bad title, you know, and I have to critique it and, you know, give my feedback on it because I want to see it improve. I love Call of Duty. I want the game to, you know, get over the hurdles and the growing pains that it still gets apparently all these years down the road. <laughs> Uh, insane, but you know, we want to see it improve because we still enjoy the game. No, these people don't. They they hate the game. They will never like the game. Nothing that will, the devs will ever do will make them like it. And they are here to just actively crap on it until it's very death. And the only, and just like in the post that Wiffle said here, the only thing that will ever please them is the death of the game. And when that happens, they'll finally smile and they'll probably say, oh, you're a dumbass for following the game and enjoying the game, blah, 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 blah. You know, they're just doomers until the end. They don't want to enjoy the process. And they're, they're doomers until the end. It's disgusting behavior, but that is the sad reality of a lot of these games are filled with in their communities. And the absolute craziest part about it is that these insane people will look at this post by Wiffle and probably say, oh, well, you know, you, all you do is crap on COD and praise X Defiant. Because, you know, every single time people bring up Modern Warfare 3 as an example, they just can't help themselves but, you know, think that we're crapping on it. No. And uh, I, I guarantee Wiffle probably enjoys playing Modern Warfare 3 just like me. I enjoy Modern Warfare 3. The reason we bring it up is that Modern Warfare 3 has just as bad problems problems, if not worse, on a consistent basis for a lot of players, but it doesn't get the same crap. 
it, it literally nobody keeps the same energy that they have with X Defiant over with Modern Warfare 3. And once again, we're not hating on it. We're just using it as an example that it just doesn't make any logical sense why a game with such a small team, probably a very small budget, gets so much harsh, harsh feedback. But other games, once again, like Modern Warfare 3, get a lot more slack. You know, people are more hyper-focused with skill-based matchmaking over, you know, the, the horrible servers that they've been literally trucking along for how many years now? How long has COD been out? How much money has this franchise pulled in? And we're still playing on these old-ass servers? You see what I'm saying here? And again, I'm not complaining about it because I, I deal with it. I still play the game. I still enjoy it. But I just don't get it. How could you not complain about it in COD? But you could complain about X defined. It's hypocrisy at its finest. But... Wiffle's right, you know? The only time you really see this toxicity is the second you enter any type of gaming community. And it's sad because it plagues everything. You know, and I, I think that this community that we have right here is fantastic. There's so many positive people, tons of phenomenal, you know, awesome individuals. But even here, it's littered with, you know, people who just want, again, to see nothing but the death of X Defiant. And no matter where you go, no matter what channel you go to, no matter what game you follow... It doesn't matter. All of them have these people. And it's just, I guess it's just a part of the flow of, you know, hopping on social media, hopping on gaming community, whatever it is, man. It's just, I guess it's a part of the process, right? <laughs> but ladies and gentlemen, I just wanted to go ahead and share this with all of you because, again, I really do believe that X Define gets so much unnecessary hate. And it, it, it's it's wild. It's, it's absolutely wild to me. And what's even funnier is that, like, you can go to a video like Phase Jev. And over half the people in there talking positive about X Defiant. And then you go to a channel like mine or, you know, like a smaller channel and half the comments are all just negative. You know, I feel like it's just such a small portion of people who hate this game so much. But since our channels are much smaller, they can be seen so much more than, you know, compared to a bigger channel who might talk about X Defiant where, you know, they're, they're just a little blip. But on a smaller channel like us, you know, they can be on a bigger radar. It's just wild. I guess that's just what it is. Because, like I said, you go over to Phase Jeb's video, man. You could just see comment after comment after comment of people just absolutely saying they love the game. It gives me a lot of hope for the future of X Defined. But, ladies and gentlemen, as always, if you enjoyed today's video, leave a like. If you hate it, leave a dislike. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell. I post daily here at 8 in the morning Eastern Time. And, of course, if you guys want to go ahead and check out my live streams, I won't be live today. But I will be live on Monday at 12 p.m. Eastern Time. Of course, if you guys want to go ahead and check that out, i got a link to that down in the description of this video. But, as always, thank you for tuning in. And I'll see you all on the next one. Peace out.